Hi everyone. First of all, a big thanks to everyone who stick to my channel and made the family grow to 15k. I really appreciate that. Thank you so very much. I love you all. Today I'm going to briefly explain you simple painting process of lips, eyes and hair. So make sure you watch till the end. First, we need a separate layer for painting the lips. We will start with the basic coloring and as always, the key is to keep the opacity of the brush low, always, every time. The corner and the middle part of the lips are always going to be darker than the rest. The creases and the folds of the lips are very important. So you have to make sure that they are properly shown. And to do that you have to use shading and highlight. Once you are done coloring the basic colors, make sure to turn on the alpha lock before going to do more shading. In that way, you can stop the color from spilling out. Add some highlights after finishing shading it. Blend it a little bit but keep the rest of it as it is. If you are not happy with the colors, you can always change the hue, saturation and lightness. Then we will take another layer above it and start coloring the teeth. Firstly, we are going to add a dark color and then 
eventually add lighter color over it. The shadow will be darker at the corner of the lips. The lower part of the teeth is going to be relatively lighter than the upper part. There is going to be no sharp edge between the lips and the face. So we have to make sure that all the edges of the lips are well blended. And to do that we are going to use the eyedropper method. We pick color from the overlapping zone and keep painting as long as everything is well blended. You can use the blur tool as well, but it's gonna make things a bit too much smooth for my test, so I did not use it. It's time for painting the eye. So firstly we need a desaturated color which is close to white such as off-white or grayish white for the sclera part of the eye. Now, on a new layer, I'm going to show you a very simple but effective way to paint iris. As always, first color the base. Take another layer above it and you have to clip it. Remember that. Choose airbrush normal and paint in a circular way, leaving the edge out. The edge must stay darker. Take another layer above it and then again clip it. Now, draw the pupil. Add darker shade around it and you have to gradually blend it out as you go down.
I copied this part and used it for the other eye to save my time. But if you want to do it from scratch, feel free to do it. Time for a little bit of rendering around the waterline and the eyelid. Make sure the waterline is prominent. For painting the eyebrows, make sure the thickness of your brush end is zero and the force fed is turned on. You can find more details on it on my other video where I explained the whole process in details. If you're interested, you can check the card above.
first of all we need a different brush and we're going to choose oil soft each and every stroke will be one directional it's not curly hair or messy hair in those cases it could be a different story If you think you have messed up some parts and need to erase it like I did, make sure you have chosen the oil hair eraser. Choosing the right eraser is as important as choosing the right brush. If you are painting using an airbrush, you should also erase it using an airbrush. Similarly, in case of hair, you should go for the oil hair brush. So the key here is make sure your paint brush and eraser brush are same and if you are using smudge tool that brush is also going to be the same. If you need to clear the entire thing then use any eraser as you wish but if you are trying to do a fine cleaning always remember this tip. Time to take a new layer on top of the base hair layer. We're going to add there the highlights and make sure the thickness and the opacity is low.
I forgot to add the eyelashes before, but better let than never. We're going to go back to paint fed brush to paint this one and the settings of the brush will be similar to the eyelashes. Finally, we are reaching the end of the video. I really hope you could learn something from it. At the end of the process, I'm going to show you the finished art. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. In next week's video, I'm going to show you how to play with different layers and have fun with it. Hope you look forward to it. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me. I sincerely appreciate that. And I'll see you next week. Till then, take care.